In the center of London's financial district, 20 Fenchurch Street is an anomaly. While its neighbors taper inward as they rise, this tower does the opposite, it expands. The design is a direct result of market economics. By widening the structure at the top, the developers maximized the square footage on the upper levels. Where the views are better, the rent is significantly higher. It was an efficient financial strategy, but structurally, it required a compromise. To support that top-heavy distribution, the architect, Rafael Vignoli, designed the south-facing facade with an inward curve. That curve created a physics problem. Most skyscrapers have flat vertical glass that reflects sunlight in a diffuse pattern, but this concave shape acted as a lens. It effectively turned the entire 37-story south wall into a parabolic mirror. For a few weeks each September, when the sun passes through a specific elevation in the sky, the building captures the light and focuses it into a concentrated beam on the street below. On the pavement of East Cheap, spot temperatures were recorded at over 110 degrees Celsius. The intensity was high enough to shatter tiles, scorch fabric, and warp the plastic panels of vehicles parked in the convergence zone. The fix required a multi-million pound retrofit, a massive cage of aluminum fins bolted across the south face. It worked, the fins break up the light and stop the beam, but ironically, they also obstruct the panoramic views the building was originally shaped to maximize. It stands today in the London skyline, a permanent physical reminder of the engineering mistake that made it famous.